bridge birth. Bridge births can go well, but they are sometimes dangerous for the baby, especially a first baby, because no one knows if the woman's pelvis is big enough for a baby's head to birth. This video will show how to determine whether a baby is in a bridge position and how to assist the birth. To determine whether the baby is breech, examine the woman's abdomen. If the baby's head is in the top of the uterus, it will feel hard, round and movable in relation to the rest of his body. In the lower part of the woman's belly, the baby's bottom or feet will feel soft and irregular. During labour, after the cervix starts to open, the presenting part will feel soft compared to a hard head. You may feel the baby's genitals or a foot or even the crack in the buttocks. If there is an ultrasound machine available, confirm the baby's position and flexion of the head. There are three different breech presentations. In a frank breech, the buttocks present first and the legs are straight up. This is the most common presentation and the easiest and safest breach to deliver. In a complete breach, the buttocks also present first, but the baby is in a sitting position with his legs flexed. The footling breach presents with one or both feet first. This presentation is less safe because the legs and bottom may pass through a cervix or pelvis that is too small for the head. There are several possible problems unique to breech births. The cord can drop down when the waters break. The baby's head can get stuck especially small or preterm babies and the cord can get pinched between the baby's head and the woman's pelvis preventing the baby from getting oxygen. If you know how, try to turn the baby to a head down position before the active phase of labor. If you cannot turn the baby, Refer women with breech presentations to a higher level facility, especially if this is her first baby. Favorable factors for a vaginal breech birth include an average sized baby, an adequate pelvis, a frank or complete breech with a flexed head, good labor progress, and easy, spontaneous delivery of the buttocks and thighs. Monitor and follow the labor carefully to be sure the woman and baby are doing well and that the labor is progressing normally. When the woman's cervix is fully open, ask her to wait through a few more contractions before she pushes to allow the buttocks to descend into the vagina. Then have her push in a way that feels right to her. The baby's bottom, legs and belly will usually be born without any help. Do not pull the baby. Hands off the breech are the wise words. Wrap the baby in a cloth to keep her warm. Gently hold her at her hips to keep her back upward. If the shoulders don't come naturally with the woman's pushing efforts, deliver the top shoulder by gently rotating the baby's body out and passing two fingers over her shoulder and down her arm, then sweep her arm across her chest. Gently rotate the baby a half circle the other way, keeping her back upwards to deliver the other shoulder and arm. 
it's best not to handle the umbilical cord too much. The next maneuvers help to keep the baby's chin close to her chest. These actions allow the head to fit most easily through the woman's pelvis. First, let the baby hang down as the woman pushes until the hair is visible on the back of the baby's head. This helps the head to flex. Second, support the baby in your hand with your fingers on the baby's face, one finger on each side of the baby's nose. Put your other hand on the baby's shoulders with one finger on the back of the baby's head to keep it tucked in towards the chest. Suprapubic pressure is an additional measure to help the head flex. Keep the baby's head tucked in while you raise the body to deliver the face. Here, a finger accidentally went into the baby's mouth. Let the back of the head stay inside the woman. Have the woman stop pushing and blow. Let the head come out as slowly as possible. If it comes too fast, the baby could bleed in the brain. Babies who are born breech need resuscitation more often than babies who are born head down. Be ready to help the baby breathe. Give the mother information on the condition of her baby. Let her be skin to skin with the baby as soon as possible. Tell her that the legs of breech babies might remain positioned upwards for a few days. Eventually, they will naturally assume a normal position. She should not force them down. Remember, let the baby's body deliver naturally, keeping her back upward. Assist the delivery of the arms if you need to, but never pull on the baby. Keep the head flexed and deliver it slowly to protect the baby's brain.